I'm Cecil Starr. I'm a professional utility forester working for Hydro One in Ontario, Canada. Uh, today we're in my back pasture uh, near Lake Dalrymple on my farm and we're going to test out some consumer, uh, consumer level chainsaws for uh, Power Tool Advisor. We're going to do a little bit of a review on the buying experience as well as uh, do some cutting with them and uh, just see how they work out. Uh, we've got a, a pooling, a still, a Husqvarna and an Echo, all relatively around 30 to 35 cc's. Uh, good little homeowner saws, there's uh, nothing wrong with them and they, we're going to see how they work out. And, uh, I've been running chainsaws for 18, 19 years now and uh, on a daily basis so I should uh, hopefully be able to give them a fair little test. Alright, we're going to test out the uh, pool on 3416 here and start it up. Uh, very important for professional or consumers to wear your eye protection. I've got uh, chainsaw pants on in case we get a kickback or the chain's going to hit my leg, they'll stop the chain. They've got ballistic nylon in there. Also wear ear protection. They're loud. They don't seem loud, but after long enough you start to lose your hearing. Switches on, brakes on. Choke, I guess. Maybe a bit more choke. seem to cut too bad. It, uh, like I said, I'm used to running bigger saws all the time at work, but it's not too bad. You can see the chain's loosened up, but that, like I said, it's brand new out of the box, so that needs to be adjusted. Uh, it's got a bit of vibration, and by the sounds of it, the jets need to be set a bit, but that's that's typical of a brand new saw that's never been run. Um, it doesn't matter what, what make or model it is. Uh, out of the box, not too bad. All right, we're going to do a summary here on these four saws we've been testing for uh, Power Tool Advisor. First is off is the Poulon 3416. Um, buying experience with this saw, um, I grabbed it on a box. It was in a box on a shelf, threw it in the cart, took it to check out. It was uh, no customer um, customer relation person there or uh, a technician or any, of any sort. Um, now, and it, we ran it right out of the box. I did not touch, I can set up saws as good as a lot of people and uh, never touch a thing because that's an unfair uh, unfair thing. So it's uh, 34 cc's and uh, 16 inch bar. Vibration was the worst on this saw. Uh, it it quite a bit. And it seems to be about the heaviest in overall weight. Um, I didn't like how the switch was hard to turn on and off. It's just a small thing, but things that I noticed as a professional. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it'd do the job, but probably not as good as others. So that's a wrap up for this. I'm Cecil Starr. I'm a utility, professional utility forester for Hydro One. I also compete in lumberjack sports all over the North American continent and beyond if I can. And, uh, thanks for uh, getting me to do this. Uh, I think that uh, PowerToolAdvisor.com is a good tool for consumers to look at. We compared four small chainsaws here today, which are right in the market for consumers. Hopefully that'll really come useful for some people. They can check stuff out before they uh, before they go and buy one, and either be real happy or real disappointed. But either way, at least you've got a bit of bit of knowledge to go with. So, thanks for having me.